everyone welcome back to my channel this is the clumsy simmer and we are back in willow creek today and i'm doing another speed build for you guys and this is actually a base game only suburban home that's for three different generations so you can have a couple grandparents live in here a couple parents uh i believe i furnished it also for a child a toddler and an infant and that is actually up to seven sims you could possibly fit more if you wanted to have another baby or if you have cats and dogs or a horse ranch and you wanted to have a dog or a cat or a horse. And uh, yeah, if you wanted to have one of those, then you could fit them in this house as well. And then that'll be eight Sims. So there's definitely plenty of room to grow in this house. Um, if you just have a few Sims and you want to download this house anyways, then when you plan to have your sins to have babies and kids and stuff then this house will have more than enough room uh yeah so the outside of this house i do have to say for being it only base game it really i think turned out really pretty i love the outside of this house uh i think i found my new favorite wallpaper for outside which is that i usually do the whole bottom layer brick and then the top i'll do the paneling but when I did the single mom starter home that I posted the other day, I did this half brick, half paneling in that build, and that unleashed a monster in my opinion. Now I'm going to be using that all the time, so I hope that is a wallpaper you guys enjoy too, because I think it just makes the build look so nice. And of course I'm still gonna do the whole bottom brick at some point too. I mean, that's not gonna change, but I do love the look of it being half brick, half paneling on the bottom. And then the top is just the paneling as well. It just, I don't know, it adds like a dimension. And right here, I was testing if I wanted to do the window, what do you call it? Window panels? Uh, I, I am having a major brain fart. The, the window panels, you know next to the windows they're white right now and i changed them to black and then back to white and i was trying to see exactly if i wanted to leave them black or leave them white and right now they're white but in the end i do or at some point through this build i do change them back to black um there's just something about that black window frame and the black roof that just goes really good together and so i wanted to keep it and something else that I do not normally do because I can't have it work out right is I love to put fences in the front yard and that I do kind of often kind of not often it just depends this I actually did a privacy fence in the front and I never do that because I don't really I can't really find ways to make it work it's like it's almost like too tall for the front but it worked in this house to be honest and i am really happy with the way that it turned out and towards the end i actually put the mailbox kind of so i put another tree in the front over by the driveway kind of on the side on the right side of the driveway next like next to that fence that's there i do put another tree and then towards the end i put the mailbox there and i after i shut off my recording um i actually kind of noticed that I forgot to put a outdoor trash can on this build and so right next to the mailbox I put an outdoor trash can and something about this build just looks really realistic to me um I really am happy with the way that this turned out if I was searching for a base game only house I definitely would choose this one and download this one if i seen this on the gallery and it's it's literally just base game and it looks really good for it just being base game um but yeah so we're kind of getting the back situated i got a lot more in the front that i'm okay so i just pulled the mailbox out now but there's more in the front that i'm gonna do and of course more in the back that i'm do, gonna do i'm just trying to get like the exterior shape of the house and the overall just vibe of the house put together before I get too deep into the landscaping uh, just in case I have to switch some things you know like switch the floor plan I may or may not throughout a build realize oh crap I forgot 
you know, like a bathroom or I forgot a room for an additional child or whatever the case may be, it is very, very helpful to stop the landscaping while you're in the process or really before you do the landscaping and do like the layout of the house really quick. Yes, that is an opinion of mine and some advice that I'm giving. No, I do not follow that advice all the time. So do as I say, not as I do kind of situation because I find myself regretting so often doing the landscaping before I do the actual floor plan of the house. Um, and then I'm, I'm kind of just screwed and I have to figure out the floor plan without making any adjustments to the actual floor plan if that makes sense but uh yeah so we are working on the floor plan now and the step down part in the very front when you first walk into the front door i really wanted to keep that i love doing the platforms in a build uh i don't know i just love making use of platforms i was so excited when the platforms came out and actually back then um they kind of like oh <laughs> intimidated me i know that probably sounds really goofy but i just i had the hardest time when they first came out actually making them work in a floor plan and yeah so now that i finally figured out how to make them work in a floor plan i use them like all the time and i just think it adds just an extra dimension and just extra decor, just extra, you know, just an extra something to the actual house. I think it makes such a big difference. And looking at it now in that living room part and the entryway, I really wish I would have left it that way. But the reason I didn't, you'll probably come to see in a little bit if you haven't noticed already. Um, the staircase in the very front is glitched out because of it. Uh, I cannot stand that glitch. Do you guys have that same glitch? I'm sure you do, and it probably aggravates y'all too. Just when the, a staircase is placed by a platform like that, it glitches out and kind of thinks it's connected to the platform. If Yeah, I that's the only way that I can think of to describe it. Uh, it, it like thinks it's supposed to be attached to the platform and so it kind of I don't know like I'll just have to show you guys <laughs> back over in that part of the video when it I, when I go to fix the staircase I'll describe it then it kind of just puts it above the floor and it's so hard to describe unless I'm showing it to you guys so we are actually uh, in the kitchen and I am decorating the kitchen. I'm trying to pull out some cute clutter pieces to put in here. I actually like to put that book in a kitchen because I have the mind frame of that's probably like their cookbook or their recipe book and they're following a recipe along as they're cooking. So that's kind of my train of thought when I put a book in a kitchen. It's not just there for them to write in uh, there is a purpose <laughs> and usually before I started my YouTube channel and before I started doing the speed builds and I would do these houses I would put a book in the kitchen and I always wondered if people wondered why I put a book in the kitchen and so if you were one of those people and you are watching this video uh yeah that's why I I figured it was a cookbook <laughs> <laughs> um, just a little imagination and so we are getting the kitchen pretty much together I do have the dining table in here as well and I almost put it slanted like that because I was trying to make good use of space and I wanted it to fit in there and I had no other room that was designated for the dining room. I usually have a whole separate room for the dining room and then I'll put a kitchen in another room. But this build, however, I actually just put the dining room in with the kitchen. That's actually a really realistic thing. Not many, pe not many houses that I have been in personally have had a whole separate dining room out of the kitchen. 
it typically is kind of the same room with like an open floor plan type of deal where there's obviously this is obviously the section where the dining table would go and then the kitchen's right there you know what i mean it's kind of like the kitchen but not the kitchen uh so that's kind of like what i thought in this house too that area over there is obviously not the kitchen but what else would you put there besides the dining table right so dining table went there i did add a couple of islands with some stools on there i don't know i love islands in real life and i love them in the sims too there's just something about them just add something extra extra to a kitchen you know and it just somewhere that the kids before school can eat breakfast i put their lunch boxes there so that before they go off to school they can grab their lunch box or daycare in the toddler's case uh, that I figured that little lunchbox that I shrunk down that has like that little blue I don't know. What is that supposed to be like a void critter? That's kind of what I thought um, That one is for the toddler and I sized it down I thought that was a cute idea and then the other lunchbox is for the child so and here Was the time that the yeah, see how the stair kind of glitches out that way. There is no way around it besides lowering the platform under the main ground level if that makes sense but the reason why I couldn't do that is because I always I already have it kind of laid out and so I have an archway going from the living room to the kitchen and so if you sh shrink down the floor under the actual ground level then the archway doesn't move down with the floor it will kind of still have that step up and i really don't like that that might be a pet peeve it might be kind of stupid but i really don't like that there's something about it that aggravates me just having that step up like a door frame or an archway and then you just have a step that it's kind of floating you know what i mean that really aggravates me and so i didn't want to do that and i really didn't want to leave the front right there with the door kind of just, you know, floating there <laughs> from what it looks like on the inside. Uh, yeah, so I decided just to quit trying to do the platform and just leave it like this. And I did leave that linoleum there. I kind of liked the idea of that. It kind of broke up the floor and then it broke up the two rooms. This is the entryway and then that's the living room, obviously. <laughs> um, and it's on the realistic side too i think i've been in several people houses that have that tile when you first walk in and then it transitions into wood or carpet or whatever it may be i don't know if that's like a florida thing or is that just an american thing or is that just a home thing like does it every home do that you know not every home but like every a home there's homes in each place state or country whatever it may be that do that you know is it really what i'm trying to ask is it just like a florida thing you know so if you're out of florida and you're watching this uh let me know do you guys is it common for you to see tile when you first walk through someone's house or is it usually just you know wood or carpet and the tile just stays in the kitchen i'm genuinely curious because that is something i see quite often in florida uh, just Florida in general has tile a lot, either wood or tile, um, a lot of tile though. And I love tile floor. It's easy to clean and you can actually clean it carpet. I've expressed my opinion about carpet before and it just, it's hard to clean. If you have pets, you know what I mean? So it's easier just to clean hard floors, but, uh, yeah. So typically in Florida, you'll find that I think it's mainly has to do with the heat and cool i don't know the hard floor kind of stays cool you know it doesn't really get hot so anyways i have the living room pretty much done as you guys could see and we are over into i kind of figured this would be mom and dad's room it, it no maybe it's grandma and grandpa's room i really didn't have 
a train of thought of whose room that was as I was building it. It's just either the parents' room or the grandparents' room. And so this is kind of like a garage renovated into a bedroom. And then this is a bathroom that they added. So this is the uh, master bedroom and the master bathroom. So that bathroom is actually really long and skinny, but I fit a lot of stuff in there. I fit like a garden tub, I fit the shower, and then the toilet and the sink, and then uh, one of those faux laundry bins. Uh, it doesn't actually work. <laughs> it's just decor basically, but I put that in there too. And now I decided to go ahead and do the main bathroom and the downstairs as well so that I just knock the bathrooms out together. Bathrooms are just boring. There's something about them that just is so boring because it's just, you know, you have to do it for one. For two, how different can bathrooms be? You know what I mean? I mean, it's bathrooms typically either it's it's hard to make them unique, you know? So I actually took this time to pull out one of those playpen looking cribs and put it in the living room. I know there's a crib right here for the infant, right in the same floor uh, level, right on the first floor. But I don't know, it just adds like a realistic touch adding a playpen in the living room because I, a lot of people that I know that have kids have that additional playpen in the, in the living room because it's just easy to put the kid in there for nap time and then you can still watch them or you know it's just you know where they're at <laughs> it's just kind of like a convenience thing so yeah I put that in the living room and I liked the way it looked I mean I know it's pink but I kind of decorating the bedroom pink so I figured the toddler was a girl uh or not toddler but the infant was a girl and so I made the playpen pink as well and this bedroom is really colorful. So I did something different with this bedroom. I don't normally do the different color walls like this. Not that I don't like it because I think it's really cute, but I just don't typically do it. There's just, it just doesn't call for it basically. Um, but this bedroom definitely did. It was lacking on decor. And so it needed something more and I wasn't happy with any of the wallpapers and I used that rainbow a curtain set and so I thought it was cute and then the rug also has the rainbow polka dots and so I figured you know let's just paint the walls different colors there's the blue there's the pink and there's the purple so really colorful rainbow themed room and then I put rainbow like shelves on the wall and yeah I just think that little bedroom for the infant came out so cute and every time I don't know guys I've really been having baby fever lately I every time I decorate a nursery in the Sims it just makes me want a baby that much more that's just something I've been a kick on I do not have any kids right now so that is something you know that we would like to have so hopefully one day um I'm not going to expect it anytime soon. Anytime the Lord wants to send me a little bundle of joy, a little miracle, I will be more than happy. And I, of course, will share it with you guys. So, yeah, we are putting some lights on the house. I, this is something I just started doing was putting lights out on top of the windows. Um, I really don't think it's realistic, but when you turn, when it's nighttime in the game, it just looks so good with the house lit up like that and so the first time I did it I loved it <laughs> and so I do it at, with every build now I think uh if I don't then it just looks so tacky and so I take it off you know so but this one I thought it was cute so I left it and there is a child that lives here so I wanted to make like the backyard very child friendly and really family friendly and like the family lives or stays and spends a lot of time out here you know not lives out here <laughs> but spends a lot of time out here and they have a pool then there is the monkey bars and I end up putting a picnic table out here 
And I also end up putting some planter boxes out here and lots of different flowers and those yellow bushes. I have come to realize those yellow bushes are obviously my go-to. Uh, I use them quite a lot. I need to start opening up my horizons when it comes to landscaping, but this is just like my comfort level landscaping. <laughs> um, landscaping kind of intimidates me in a way because it really makes or breaks a build in my opinion if the landscaping sucks the build sucks you know the landscaping really goes a long way it really does it really adds a good touch to a house in the game but yeah with that being said this is my comfort landscaping or that's what i call anyways i really this is my go-to i always use those yellow flowers and if they're not yellow which typically they are I don't know, there's something about yellow in The Sims that really is just really bright and beautiful. And so, yeah, I use the yellow a lot. And if it's not the yellow, then it's probably the blue or the white. And sometimes I'll do purple because the purple's really pretty too. And so is like the reddish pink, but just those big bushy flowery bushes, I use those all the time. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you just seen me. I pulled out a trash can and for some reason, whatever reason, I did not even put it out. So you're not going to actually see me put a trash can out in this build, but there is one. I do it at the very, very end. You'll probably see it in the screenshots and it's right there, right next to the mailbox. Uh, it looks really realistic and I put it there and it kind of filled up that space that had nothing. So I liked it. And over here, I put a table and i sized down one of those picnic chairs or picnic tables and with the umbrella and i put it on that blue that table with like the different uh tablecloths on there i've never actually done that and i do believe it works um i will play test that to make sure but i thought it looks so cute and it just we don't have that table with the tablecloth. I wish it came with an additional object that was that table with the tablecloth with that umbrella added. I thought it looked so cute. And I love umbrella tables in real life and I love them in The Sims too. So I usually always add that in my backyards. If I have enough money, if I'm doing like a starter home, then I don't have enough money and so I can't. But yeah, so uh, this is something I quite do or I do quite often is size down one of those roads and kind of, you know, you can't physically use it on the toddler, but I kind of have in my mind like, okay, that's like the little toddler's robe. You know, I just think that's so cute. That little green robe is the toddler's and you can use the robe and create a Sam. So you can kind of pretend, you know, sometimes this game takes a little imagination it takes a little thinking and creativity you know and uh yeah so we are over into the toddler's bedroom and nothing really fancy it's just a normal base game toddler's room you know so i actually sized down those toddler like that toddler set or kid set with the dresser and the matching nightstand uh, i sized down the nightstands and just put the sport the soccer lights on there and um, and it's just like a dinosaur theme, you know? That's something I do often. The, yeah, the base game doesn't have that many options when it comes to decor. <laughs> it really doesn't. I say that so often, but it really doesn't. But so with that being said, I do the dinosaurs quite often. And now we are over into the child's room and this comes together quite quickly. I do this blue and green theme uh, with that like flowery leafy comforter set and uh, I love that comforter set. I think it is so pretty. I literally would have that in real life. I'm not even lying. But yeah, and I actually added this little like crying mirror. That's not something I add often, uh, but I, it is so cute that there's the crying one and then there's the one with the heart eyes and I really don't use either one quite often. I don't know why, uh, cause it really is cute. 
But uh, yeah, I pulled those lunch boxes out and put them downstairs and I figured one was for the toddler and so I wanted to put a matching like little book bag for the toddler. Um, I know they don't need that when they go to daycare in The Sims, but it's just a role play type of purpose um, just for the imagination. You know, it's just, just imagine that little toddler on his first day of school with his little book bag and his little lunch box. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be the cutest freaking thing? But uh, we are actually headed over to the parents' room now, and this comes together really quickly. Uh, this is either the parents or the grandparents. I had trouble thinking about it downstairs too, so it's really whatever you guys prefer. If you download this on the gallery, and if you are interested in downloading this off the gallery, it is linked down below. It's just my name, The Clumsy Simmer, but it, it has no spaces, so be sure to do no spaces. Uh, yeah, so with that being said, we are nearing the screenshots, and so I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll let me know to make more just like this. And so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long. It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look